Hey guys, so I'm in LA, which means I've been just hanging out and eating a lot, but I have two very exciting things to share with you guys, which are macarons. Macarons? Um, I went to two really popular places in LA. One is Bodega Louis, Bottega? Bottega Louis, and the other is Let. I just thought it would be cool to sit down and eat them and compare the two. Ooh. So this is what the box looks like for Let. Um, it does have their name sort of in the shiny font, which is kind of hard to see on camera, but that's what it looks like. So I got the box of six, which was uh, $11, and this one is Bodega Louis. Obviously way more fancy, Bodega Louis is way more expensive as well. This one was five macarons for $13, which is quite a bit more. Um, obviously these cookies in general aren't very cheap, um, so it's very common for them to be even more than $2. Uh, let me just open this up. That's what it looks like. Oh, look at how cute they look. <laughs> Bottega Lee has five of them. Again, Let has six. Now, Bottega Louis is actually a really popular restaurant. Half of it is a restaurant which serves Italian food, and the other half is a French patisserie. Let, on the other hand, is just a store that's just dedicated to macarons. So there's the six for $11. And I believe I got very similar flavors. Um, obviously, this one has one more than the other one. Let's go ahead and try them. First up is pistachio, and oh, look at how pretty. So first up, let's compare pistachio. This one is Bottega Louis, and this one is Let. And in terms of just how they look, this one is kind of smooth. This one has a little bit of like a bumpiness to it. I don't know. It may also be just this one that has that weird bumpiness. Apparently what you want is a nice little feet, a good layer of filling. Let's try it. That's how it looks inside. Mmm, this tastes really good. The left one definitely has more filling. This one actually has little chunks of the nut as well, the left one. I think the pistachio flavor is stronger than this one. This one is a little bit more subtle but also very sweet. Let's do rose next. This one has a little design on it, isn't it cute? Looks like the feet are a little bit more frilly on this one. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Whereas this one is more flat, but there's definitely elevation there. This one was way more crunchy and dry. Like the cookie is harder than the other two that I've eaten so far because it just cracked when I bit into it. The rose flavor is really nice though. This one has like a cream rose and this one is not cream. I'm not sure if it's a ganache or a jam. <sighs> not as strong of a rose flavor. It's definitely there, but this one was like really strong rose. Next one is salted caramel. 
Again, this one, the let one, has like a little swipe. Sorry, it got kind of messy on the way here. But that's what it looks like. And here is Bodega Louis Salted Caramel. This one has almost like a burnt sugar, which I know caramel is like cooked sugar, but almost like a little bit more of that bitter taste. The edges are really crispy. Let me finish this first. I find that overall the lip macarons are a little bit more consistent. Um, they're definitely a little bit softer. The Bottega Louis ones are like sometimes a little crunchier like that rose one was way more crunchier than the other two. I think I like the salted caramel of the left one more. Should I eat Earl Grey or chocolate first? I'm going to save Earl Grey for the last. Next one is chocolate. So this one is the left one. It has little bits of chocolate on it and a pretty chocolate ganache in the middle. And then this one from Bottega Louis. Um, they don't actually call it chocolate, it's called Grand Cru, but it is basically a dark chocolate ganache in the middle anyway. Okay, let's try this one first. The chocolate smells really good. So this one is actually a little bit different because it has uh, wine in it. Um, so it's a dark chocolate ganache with wine in it. Mm, I like it quite a lot. Let's try out the Let one. So this one doesn't have the wine flavor. It's just going to be regular chocolate. I like the crunchy bits in there too. The cookie is oh, like the other ones. They're very soft. Yeah, the Bottega Louis one is pretty cool because it is like the wine with dark chocolate ganache flavor but they don't have like a regular chocolate flavor whereas let will have it and it has like the little crunchy bits and the lady at the store did say that chocolate and salted caramel are their two most popular flavors so mm -mm -mm. this macaron doesn't have a buddy because Remember that the Let one has six while the Bottega Louis has five. So this is the extra one, which is red velvet. And it just has a simple white stripe over the top. And I'm assuming it's a cream cheese kind of filling inside. This one is a lot like softer. I don't know if it just sat longer or if it has more filling that makes the cookie a little softer um, but it's, al it's, it's almost like that sort of cupcake texture anyways the last comparison I saved this for last because it looks gorgeous it is the Earl Grey tea flavors again it has the decorative stripe on the top with the filling on the side that definitely has a more generous portion of the filling compared to Bottega Louis but, but, look at this. <laughs> if you'll focus. But yeah, look at that. It's freaking gold. It's blue sparkled with gold paint or something like that. But how pretty is that? If anything, I bought it just to look at it because it's pretty, basically. I'm really hoping this is Earl Grey because I don't remember what I ordered. Anyways, let's try this one out first because I want to eat some gold. <laughs> mm, it smells really good. Oh, it's blue inside. Mm, the tea is so fragrant. I love it. It 
Is this Earl Grey? I'm pretty sure this is Earl Grey. This is more like Earl Grey with milk. Whereas this one is a little bit of a deeper Earl Grey. A little bit more floral. I like both of them a lot. Yeah, these are the best. <laughs> okay, thoughts overall. In terms of texture and consistency and even price, Let is uh, better in my opinion. Um, they're just Whereas Bottega Louis will have some that are a little bit more crunchy than others, which is kind of weird to me. But I do think Bottega Louis has some more interesting flavors that are a little bit different. They also have monthly flavors that change. I think Let does that as well. But the Earl Grey is just so cool looking. Um, and in general, Bottega Louis is a store that you can just walk in and it looks amazing. So you do have to pay a little bit of a premium for that, I guess. The box is prettier, the shop is prettier, there's a lot going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, I have a bunch of other videos coming up, as well as a vlog that features me going to these stores. So if you're interested, please subscribe and watch those videos as well. I'm just going to continue eating my macarons. Um, no, I'm gonna save them for my friends. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. One last quick note, if you haven't heard already, I'm currently giving away an Arden Cove daily laptop backpack. If you like the look of this backpack, head on over to the link in the description bar to enter. There's lots of ways to enter, so good luck to everyone and I'll see you guys next time.